Hindi inaasahan ng pambato ng PMI Bohol Boxing Stable na si Jake Amparo na lalaban ito sa International Boxing Federation World Minimum Weight Title ngayong March 31, 2024 na gaganapin sa Nagoya, Japan. Ang tubong gindulman Bohol na si Amparo Mangatol na binansagang Il Bambino ay rank number 6 sa IBF, rank number 9 naman sa WBC at rank number 9 din sa WBA ay buong tapang na tinanggap ang hamon. Naharapin ang kasalukuyang IBF World Champion, ang undefeated na hapon na si Jinjero Shigyuka. Ito ay dahil sa pag-atlas ng Pinoy Challenger na si R.R. Andales sa laban na nakatakda ngayong March 31, 2024 sa Japan dahil sa problema sa timbang. Si Amparo mga tol na WBO, Asia Pacific at Philippine Minimum Weight Champion ay tumanggap ng parangal noong linggo mula sa Elorde Pacquiao Boxing Awards na ginanap sa Okada, Manila. Dahil sa IBF World Championship na ito, Ang kampo ni Amparo ay bigla ang nagpunta sa Manila at lilipad papuntang Japan. Kahit pa late replacement itong si Amparo mga tol, babad ito sa training at nagmula ito sa isang matinding laban kontra sa kapwa Pinoy na former IBF World Champion na si Pedro Taduran na umabot sa 12 rounds ang matinding action ngunit natalo ito via unanimous decision. Samantala itong IBF Champion na si Shigyuka mga tol ay nagmula sa knockout na panalo sa round 9 sa Pinoy na former IBF minimum weight world champion na si Rini Mark Cuarto noong April 7, 2023 at nakuha nito ang IBF title noong October 7, 2023 nang pinasuko nito sa round 5 ang Mexican na si Daniel Valladares at binawian ng titulo. Bago ang laban ng Amparo vs. Shigyuka mga tol, atin mo nang balikan itong laban ni Amparo kontra sa isang undefeated boxer ng Africa na si Tokozizi ng Saka. Tara mga tol, ating panoorin kung paano tinalo ni Amparo may 10 wins at 3 knockouts. Itong pinakamadayang boxer na si Nang Saka na may 5 wins at 3 knockouts na gumamit ng takedown at headlocks na pinabayaan lang ito ng referee. Ito ay para sa World Boxing Foundation Asian Minimum Weight Title na ginanap sa International Convention Center sa East London sa South Africa. Sa pagbungad ng unang round mga tol, ang Pinoy na si Amparo ay naka-orthodox stance habang South Pole stance naman ang African boxer. Many flies to win to win the first round to get a, a, a respect from your opponent to you to I, start. I, I think that's a good question, uh, Peter Kozi. I, I thought it's you in the first round. It, it's it's hectic. And Brian, how important it is to win to win the first round to get a, a, a respect from your opponent to you to I, start. I, I think that's a good question, uh, Peter Kozi. Uh, definitely shorter. He's not scared of it. You said three losses with Panama. And of course, it's yeah, this is the second uh, nice big left hand there from Montoko. This is. Salam to mga tol umatake na si Amparo habang yakap at panggugulang naman ang pinagagawa ni ng Saka. South African fighting in the South Pole stance. Nicknamed Little Tyson. One side. And 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 at what age did you win uh, the world title? Uh, 25 years old. Uh, I've got a shot at our freedom right. line. All right. So, so three years later, now you win the world title. Actually, Mafia Russia, somebody just comes in there and just bombs our machine. Yes. I suppose he he likes Tyson, and ask him about this massive opportunity. Sa round 3 mga tol, mga solidong suntok ang naipatama ni Amparo, ngunit wrestling at takedown naman ang pinagagawa ng hometown boxer. Kaka, first Jake, Amparo from the Philippines. Moment. Uh, the South African is fighting on the back foot. Man in to counter punch and doing a good job of that. Just in, in preparation for a, for a fight, you know, you do like three months of sparring. And you're sparring every day, six, eight, twelve rounds, whatever it is. So when you get in the ring to fight, you must make it a fight. It's a real man to get in a boxing ring, that's for sure. 
Yeah, and only the third round. Be as good as your opponent allows you. Yeah, and as they say, also Naka is not allowing him to land. Yes, as they say, stars make fights. Well, yeah, you, you, you know, anybody can say whatever they want to, but you own. Amparo versus Naka. Yeah, little Mike Tyson. Mega Wapang sudah terpilih dengan Saka Ambaka dan Amparo mengatakan yang menit handuk yang itu punya pansin yang kiyohi mutung referee. I don't think the crowd are too happy with Gaza. A rabbit punch, illegal punch from Maka. The back of the head called a rabbit punch. What? What's your close, man? What's up? Now, Brian. Wasn't the referee there supposed to give uh, the Filipino Amparo uh, time to recover from that uh, illegal punch? Yeah, if he needed time to recover, but I don't think it was bad enough. Yeah, but it shows the reaction now. It was like, wow, you know, this is this. Often guys have got their heads hot. Dito sa round 5 mga tol talagang matinding hiyawan ang mga African fans para sa suporta sa pinakita ng kanilang pambato. Uh, it's just too good in defense and making the other box on. Sa round 6 mga tol, tuloy ang atake ni Amparo upang pabagsakin ang kalaban dahil bistado na ang pagpabor ng referee pero mas lalong tumitindi ang yakap nito. From the Philippines. Very very difficult fight to no no down to his referee Alan Matekani Okay, if he says no knockdown Guys, TLC is going to the last 5 seconds of round number 5 Or we're in round 6 Umiinit ang aksyon dito sa round 7 mga tol Palitan ng mga malalakas na suntok ang dalawang boksingero Philippines and we are in round 7 I was still wondering, Brian, uh, the nickname Little Tyson. A little bit of a fight game. Yes, the left is a bit too late, Brian, for the seventh round. Nice right hand there from uh, the Filipino. Is that what he said they should be doing? They can't fight. Mas lalong tumitindi naman ang yakap ni Tulsi ng Saka na para bang tinitipid nito ang oras upang umabot sa desisyon ang laban. Break! Break! Um, yeah, I think the South African is doing enough to shave the fight. But it's not much either. Let's go. Yeah, but then, and it's also it's getting a stand warning uh, from Revry. Uh, Alan Matakani is saying, listen, you're holding too much and I'm saying, and then again, he is holding, but I don't know if he's hurt, the South African, but you can see he's openly holding. Jesus, and he has been, he's out here because he was really hanging on. Yeah, he was hanging on. There he goes again, look. And Amparo has picked it up. Uh, he's not interested really in, uh, in punching. It just looks like he's just, you know, going all out now to... Not looking good. And the Filipino is putting on the pressure here. Yeah. He says low blow, but keep the fight going. Yes, he's complaining about the low blow. He's wincing, Brian. Yeah, I think he should not worry about the low blow and keep the two sides running away, Brian. I think it's well those punches uh, from uh, Amparo. Wow, this is a good round for Amparo. Absolutely. Dito sa huling round mga tol, puro takbo at wrestling ang pinagagawa nitong African boxer upang masigurado ang panalo sa desisyon ng mga hurado. Opponent. And look at the confidence now. As it's, and then Maka looks like Brian just wants to survive this round. Hey, hey, go hey. Hey. Seen, must be. Parang tuko na itong sinasaka pag makayakap na parabang ayaw na pakawalan ang Pinoy. Yeah, look at his hey. on now. Yes, he's hey. really, really hey. holding on for dear life. Hey. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. I mean, what is and it doing? Bonus, they should take a point away. Yeah, maybe the referee next time around is going to take a point. 
because uh, Macarillis. Oh, another good body punch from Amparo. Yeah, Amparo is looking to stop. Well, he's been a busy boxer, but this is not a good showing tonight for Naka. No, it's a note, right? It's, but one thing that we can tell you that's for sure is that now he is losing this round. He lost the last round. Oh. And I just look how he is holding Brian. Oh, oh, and the one thing we can say as well is that Amparo, the visitor from the Philippines, yeah. has come to fight in the last few rounds. Oh! Landed a brilliant uppercut with Amparo. And down they go, both of them. Bago natapos ang laban mga tol, may pahabol pa na takedown itong sinasaka. Ngunit okay lang ito sa kanyang tiyuhin na referee. Well, I kind of think the referee... Grabe naman ang saya ng mga African fans sa pinakitang panggugulang ng kanilang pambato. He should have taken a point away. Yes, yes. He's a while ago for that holding. Because yes. he, he's blatantly holding. Blatantly. Blatantly holding and, it, and not letting go. And you can't do that in the fight. Pagkatapos ng laban mga tol, hindi umaasang manalo pa itong si Amparo. Kaya laking gulat nito sa pag-announce na si Kabayan pala ang nanalo. It is Jake Labandino Amparo! There you go, Brian. You called it. You said he's winning the last two rounds. You win the last two rounds. You will win the well, fight. Give the fight was close. I'm so happy that that happened now. Yes, you know, because yes. Dahil sa panalo ng Pinoy, grabing galit naman ang pinakita ng mga fans ni Nang Saka. Sa inyo namang palagay mga tol, pwede na kayang mag world champion itong si Amparo. Pag-usapan na lang natin yan sa baba at suportahan na lang natin si Amparo kontra kay Jinjiro Shigyuka para sa IBF title. At kasama din si Melvin Jerusalem kontra naman kay Yudai Shigyuka para sa WBC title ngayong March 31, 2024 na gaganapin sa International Conference Hall sa Nagoya, Japan. Lagi niyong sundan, huwag magpapahuli Pag-usapan ay bakbakan, balita niya at laban Mga Pinoy na di nagpapagapi Salamat sa mga suporta na lagi nandyan